Ladies and gentlemen, BC here. I'm gonna do a quick video for you on why I believe anybody can have success in real estate. Stay tuned. Find the best people you wanna get close to. Find them, get close to them, do whatever it takes to learn everything you can from them. Because when you do, you're gonna be a lot better off. I wanna see other people win. We're so focused on ourselves in the beginning that we forget about other people, but to build an empire, empire. you can't do you it can't with do one it. person. What's up guys, BC here again. I'm gonna give you five reasons, and these are conclusions I came to on why anybody, I truly believe in my heart of hearts that anybody can be successful in real estate, okay? Now, put your seatbelt on and strap up and listen, because many of you are gonna watch this video and say, ah, oh, well, I can't, and you're gonna have all those negative thoughts. This will clear the air for you, and any of you who really wanna do it and who will be dedicated, you can have success, okay? Let's get started. Number one, one of the main contributing factors to success in real estate, right? And many other things too, but particularly as a real estate agent is your ability to communicate, right? We're gonna be talking to customers, we have to market, we have to make calls, we go door to door, we do open houses, we meet with people, get them to sign contracts, right? To name a few. What is that? That's communication, straight up. Now, communication isn't like, well, let's look at sports. Right, like basketball, if some of you were born 4'11", well, you're not gonna make the NBA, right? That's a limiting uh, factor because maybe that particular uh, you know, genre or that particular career required maybe some people to naturally have more talent than others, like physical attributes. When it comes to communication, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what language you speak, where you're from, right? what your IQ is, or anything else. Anybody. Virtually anybody, 99.99% .99 of the population can learn to become a very powerful and effective communicator. And you've seen this. You guys have gone to YouTube, right? You've been to speeches where they have people from all walks of life go on stage and inspire people or help people, right? Communication can be learned by anybody. And that playing field I wrote here is equal. Now you may not believe it, it doesn't matter because that's the truth and that's really what's going on. Now if you don't believe it, nothing's gonna happen and you have to change that, that's step one. But understand that when you come in, you may be looking at a lot of your flaws. Put those to the side because this one reigns supreme over all of those flaws. If you learn and understand and master communication, dude, you can kill it in this industry and in many other things. But keep your mind focused on that and say, I can just become a great communicator and you will have a great lead over everybody else, all right? That's number one. Number two is it's not logical. It's not a logical game, right? And this is what I mean by that. It's not run by the top people. If it was a 100% logical game, the people who have been in the business 30 years, who sell 500 homes a year, would get all the business and nobody would ever look at you because you're new, right? Makes sense. Many of you probably think that. That may be your results so far. But understand that it's not 100% logical. They do not have a monopoly on the business. The majority of business is done by people who aren't those big shots, even the big shots have, what, 8%, 10% market share, in some places maybe 20, 30 tops. That leaves you with 70, 80, 90, 95% of potential opportunities. And remember, when you sell to somebody, it's not logical, it's a lot more emotional. So again, if I become a great communicator and I learn how to present and I do all these other things and I put in the effort, I can start getting one, two, three, four transactions, which will then lead me to getting five, six, seven, eight. I build my database, I start building momentum. Now I'm building a business. But you have to understand that because many of you from the outside may look at it and say, well, all the top dogs are the top dogs I can't break in. Then how did I get business? Some of the other people that you watch on YouTube or anybody else who started a year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. How did we make it through all those years if supposedly the top people get all the business? We never stop to, thought about, uh, to think about that, right? Crazy. Number three is the blueprints there for how to build your business. I've given it to you and many other people have and there's a lot of coaches and the results are duplicatable. So the whole thing is already set up. This is what you need to do for this long and do these activities and you'll get this result. Like it's already laid out for you. It's not, oh, you need to be this tall or this old or whatever. No, it's do these activities in this order for this amount of time and you'll get this result. It's like, this is how you become successful and they hand it to you. Yet we think, oh, well that can't work now. It works. Not enough people do it and they don't do it consistently or they wanna change the blueprint. Well, I don't like this, ah, I don't like that. Well, eh, that's not me, ah, I don't wanna use a script. Dude, just do it. If you literally just put all the BS to the side and do it, you have an extremely high chance of being successful. It's not like you're the first pioneer blazing a trail. Oh, well, I'm gonna do this thing called being a real estate agent. I'm the first one ever. No, people have been doing it for centuries, man. 
you just have to do it. And I, I think it's incredible. And I kind of circled and starred that one because I'm like, dude, you don't have anything to figure out. You just do it. I mean, dang, I've told you guys a million times now. People, <laughs> it's sad, it's sad, right? Like, I don't wanna, um, this isn't like bragging. This is sad, I believe, truly is. There's brokerages who use my free YouTube playlist and content to train their agents. That's cool, I guess. But at the same time, it's like, wow, wow. But the blueprint is there. Follow it, please. Number four, the majority of people are gonna be recycled out of this business. 87 to 90% or whatever it is now, within two years, they're either pretty much out or they've stopped actively trying to sell real estate and they're out of the business, which means the turnover is huge. What does that mean? Oh yeah, it's risky, but at the same time, that's a huge opportunity for some of you guys to have success in this business. If 90% of the, dude, if you just focus on, I'm gonna last two years, you've already beat out nine out of 10 people. Isn't that cool? See, people will look at that as a negative, I look at it as a positive. I said, dude, I'm gonna be in this for way more than two years. Why, why would I quit? Now it may be tough, but when the going gets tough, that's what separates the men from the boys, right? And you're gonna have to go through it, like I've said many times, but the majority of people will quit, so the longer you last, the higher your likelihood is of having success in this business just by virtue of statistics and math and numbers and the law of averages. It's crazy, so stick it out. And here's the last one that I think is, is amazing. is an extremely, extremely low barrier to entry. Anybody can get their license. And regardless of where you're from, yeah, the fees might change, but even if it costs you $1,000 or $2,000 to get your license, how many people have made $100,000 or $200,000 their first year? What other career do you know you have an opportunity like that? where you can build your business from the ground up with only having to get a real estate license and very minimal fees to get started. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it could be scary, of course, but isn't that amazing? Imagine if you had a regular job, how much you would have to you know, kiss ass and, and do all this other stuff or how long you'd have to be there to work your way up to being able to make anywhere near that kind of money or having to go through school to become a lawyer maybe or a doctor and, and spending 10, 12 years in school before you come out. And then that's not even counting the, the mountains of debt that they have in student loans and all that, right? Man, this is a very unique opportunity here. And I still don't think some people see it. So communication, right, is equal. We have, it's not logical, meaning you have a great shot, even if you are brand new. Results are duplicatable and the blueprint is there. You just have to follow the steps, right, to get the desired result. The majority of people are gonna be out of the business soon, so you don't really have to worry about um, having too much competition because by virtue of that number, most of them are out. And lastly, the low barrier to entry. So with that said, and there's more reasons. I can give you more if you want. Leave me a comment and write part two. What else do you need to hear? Now, if you have no interest in real estate, I would say, why are you watching this video, right? But at the same time, if, if you are interested in it and you're like having doubts, this should have cleared the majority of them if you're hungry and you really want to do it. This to me is a test to see if you really want to do this stuff. And if you do, man, this should be more than enough fuel in your rocket ship to get you going. It's really that simple. Because when I looked at it, I saw this and many other things. I also saw my strengths that I could apply. You know, I built discipline and grit and commitment through my basketball career and my athletic career. All I had to do was translate it from the court into the office now, not a big deal, okay? So take this, hopefully it helps you and energizes you. Hopefully it get, got you to a decision, whether that be yes or no, that's your life, right? But if it's yes, what are you gonna do next? I work with a company called Real Estate Express. It's in the description. If you wanna start getting your license, start now. If you've decided now, take action now and do it, okay? That's it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do like it, please be sure to just, uh, subscribe and leave a thumbs up as well. Um, if you guys are looking to get more uh, mentorship for me and help in coaching, you can join Modern Success. It's a program I put together with a lot of real estate agents and a lot of non-real estate agents. You can go to briancasella.com or you can click the link in my Instagram bio if you follow me there. And if you don't follow me there, I recommend you do because that's where I post all the day-to-day -day stuff and the funny stuff. If you guys are looking to subscribe to my second channel, it's here, Supreme Being My Podcast channel, it's right here. You can also follow my podcast on all the major podcast platforms. We do two episodes a week. Also, my Spanish channel, make sure you subscribe to that as that's brand new and we're gonna be uploading regularly as well. If you're looking to partner with me at eXp Realty for everyone in real estate, or you wanna get into real estate and be under me at eXp Realty, go to partnerwithteambc.com, watch the video, and schedule a call with us if you like what you see. All right, that's it for this one. See you guys on the next video, peace.